हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ पी वी एजुकेशन सो हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड वाई डाइपर्स एब्स ऑफ वाटर वॉट्स द केमिस्ट्री बिहाइंड इट इज़ देयर एनी केमिकल दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द डाइपर दैट एब्स ऑफ वाटर दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन द करेंट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिमोन्स्ट्रेट इन एक्सपेरिमेंट विच शोज हाउ डाइपर्स बिहेव द पॉलीमर दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द डाइपर इज सोडियम पॉलीक्राइलेट विच इज द सुपर एब्जॉर्बर so i will try to cover how the absorption takes place how that polymer functions and what will happen if i take salty water instead of normal ro water will the absorption be the same or the extent of absorption decrease or increase what is going to happen so this is all i will try to cover and in the end i will try to give a possible explanation of why whatever we are going to see in the conclusion of the experiment is happening so Let's begin with the demonstration, and I hope you all will enjoy the video. Requirements for the experiment are: this is a bottle which is containing water. This is uh, the cap of a medicine syrup that I would be using as a spoon. This is a diaper, which is the main ingredient of our experiment, and uh, this is uh, a container which is containing salt, normal household salt that is NaCl. This is an empty beaker. This. an empty beaker this is a paper cutter scissor so these are the requirements for this experiment so the experiment is going to be performed now first what i am going to do is this is the diaper now i have opened it so what the purpose of opening is uh, i have uh, to cut it and this is the portion which contains a polymer that is poly sodium polyacrylate so Uh, i am going to cut it i have to i i will tear it open then i this is, uh, what i will do is i will place it in this uh, poly bag i will uh, close it like this and the, then i will shake it so that all the polyacrylate that is present inside will come out and it will transfer will get transferred in this poly bag and then i will transfer it into the beaker now i am cutting it and i will try to tear it open in order to extract all the sodium polyacrylate that is present inside see slowly i am tearing it out now what i will do is i will try to transfer it in the poly bag and shake it so that all the sodium polyacrylate comes out of it so now i am going to transfer it in this container this is a poly bag and then i will shake it well thoroughly so that all the polyacrylate comes out of it now i will close it so that no opening is left so now it is completely packed and now i am going to shake it so i tried to extract the polymer which is present in the diaper that is sodium polyacrylate but it did not work for me so what i am trying to do is i will directly take the cotton out of this uh, polythene and i will try to use this cotton directly so this is the cotton now i will put it here inside the beaker and now i will add uh, water to it so i have started adding water and that is around 230 ml of water which i have added to the beaker so now i am going to add some more water because when i added 230 ml we can directly see as i invert this beaker no water is falling down and if it was normal uh, cotton then the water would definitely have fallen down so uh, i will try to test the diaper stability the polyacrylate stability so i will add some more water so i have added some more water as you can see the level is around 300 ml earlier it was 230 ml and still it is working fine as i invert the beaker and nothing is coming down the water is not coming down so 
uh, this shows that the polymer is working perfectly which is present in the cotton that is absorbing water so now what i am going to do is i will try to add this is the normal ro water now i will try to add some salt nacl to it and see what happens actually when salt is added to this normal water uh, which is being uh, which has been absorbed in the polymer so this is our salt i will take some amount of it so i have taken this much amount of salt and i will add it to it add the salt and now i will try to mix it and see what happens so i have added the salt and i have mixed it now i can what i can see is see i can see that uh, the water which was earlier absorbed this is coming out again that is the polymer efficiency the efficiency of polymer to absorb water is again destroyed as nacl is added so we can come to a conclusion that addition of nacl uh, destroys the ability of polymer to absorb the water amount of water it, it we had added 300 ml and i can see that a lot of water is coming out again you can see i will try to when if i will try to invert it i am not inverting it because is a, if i will invert it all of the amount of water that has been absorbed will come back and it will fall on this table so but it can be seen that its efficiency has decreased exponentially when nacl has been added so what it shows is earlier when i had taken normal ro water and uh, which was perfectly absorbed by the sodium poly polyacrylate polymer it shows that a gel was formed when normal water was taken and it was since water was absorbed so it was a hydrogel that was formed but what actually happened when i added salt to it the hydrogel that was formed was again converted back to a solution which was a sol uh, in which the water was Uh, completely water completely escaped the whatever amount of water was absorbed it escaped out it was reverted back by the polymer so if a question arises that how we can convert a hydrogel which was asked in the experiment that how we can convert the hydrogel to sol then the answer would be when so when we add salt then the hydrogel that was formed will be converted into a sol as we can see this is a solution that is falling down so the hydrogel that was earlier formed i had inverted in and in, inverted it and nothing was falling out so it was a uh, it was not a solution but a gel but as soon as i added water the hydrogel that was formed was converted into uh, a, a normal sol so now what i will do is i will again repeat the experiment but this time the water will not be the normal ro water the water will be salty water i will add this salt to it to make the salty water and i will take almost the same that is 300 ml of uh, salt water and i will try to test what happens if the water is salty instead of taking the normal ro water will the capacity of uh, the polymer be the same or it will change whether it will increase or decrease or what will be happening in that case so i will try to prepare the salt solution now so i am adding around 300 ml of water because we have to keep the things constant in order to see how the polymer behaves how its efficiency decreases or increases or whatever happens so <laughs> this is around as it can clearly be seen this is around 300 ml of water that i have taken approximately 300 ml as per the calibrations of this beaker now i will add salt to it to prepare salty water so this this is the salt that i have taken i will add it in this beaker and make the salty water solution so i have added to it now i will mix it thoroughly to prepare the salty solution so as it can be seen the solution is now clear all the salt that i have added has been dissolved so now i will add almost the same amount of 
डाइपर कॉटन टू इट एंड टेस्ट वेदर द एबिलिटी हैज इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज सो दिस इज रफली द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ कॉटन डाइपर कॉटन दैट आई टेक एन अर्लियर नाउ आई विल एड दिस कॉटन टू दिस बीकर एंड सी वेदर द सेम एब्जॉर्बन टेक प्लेस और नॉट सो आई हैव एडेड द कॉटन टू इट लेट्स एड सम मोर अमाउंट सो I have added this much amount more. So let's wait for few minutes and see whether the absorption is same or different. So even after some time, I can clearly see that all the water has not absorbed. Uh, if I will try to fall it down here, this is. so as we can see it is still a solution not a gel which was prepared in the earlier case when we had taken our normal aro water so it can clearly be seen that when salty water is taken the amount of absorption by the polymer sodium polyacrylate is not the same as in the case when we had taken normal aro water what it explains is addition of salt decreases the capacity of the polymer to absorb water now we have to understand the reason why it happens so now we are going to see why diapers absorb water what are the components which help them to absorb water and what is the chemistry behind them so diaper contains a polymer as i have already told it contains a polymer which is sodium polyacrylate what it is it is a polymer of acrylic acid this is the basic structure of sodium polyacrylate it has repeating units of acrylic acid which combines to form sodium polyacrylate so how this helps in absorbing water is it is a cross linked polymer that contains sodium atoms it absorbs water by a process which is known as osmosis so what happens is when it comes in contact with water there is a tendency for the sodium atoms or ions we can say to distribute themselves equally between the cross linked network and between the water so in doing this process what sodium atoms do is they leaves the structure of so, uh, of the acrylic network or sodium polyacrylate network and that vacant spaces are occupied by water molecules so the network swells up in order to keep the concentration of sodium balanced between the polymer and water so this is how it happens so now let us see the gif that will help to understand the process better so this is the backbone of polyacrylic uh, polyacrylate now let's see this is the sodium ions that are being attached now when water is added what happens some of the sodium atoms are leaving and now water due to the negative charge on the carboxylate the positive density on the hydrogen atoms are attracted and the carboxylate ion in that process the coo minus ions attract the h end of water molecules through hydrogen bonding and they absorb water in this way so this gif shows it very clearly sodium ions are leaving now this negative charge density would attract the positive end of water and through hydrogen bonding and it is attached so through osmosis this helps in uh, absorbing water which is present in the diaper so now we will see why it is so that on adding salt the ability of the polymer to absorb water decrease so what happened is by the process of diffusion the sodium ions entered the polyacrylate structure and they replaced the sodium uh, water molecules and took its place so let's see how it happened so on addition of this was the structure uh, which uh, the upper structure is the one which was when water was absorbed so when sodium atoms were introduced so what happened the water layer had excess of sodium ions because uh, some sodium ions were introduced in the water itself when as, when salt was added so the excess of sodium ions created an imbalance of sodium ions concentration so 
what is diffusion it is the net movement of anything it may be ions atoms molecules etc from a region of higher concentration to the region of low concentration so since the sodium ions were accessed in the water layer through diffusion they entered the structure and in that structure they were attracted by the carboxylate and since it was negatively charged and sodium ions were positively charged in, in that process they occupied the place which was occupied by water and water left so we can see the h2o molecules which were earlier absorbed all were removed and in this way whenever salt is added the excess sodium ion concentration through diffusion removes all the water that is absorbed and that was the reason why when salt was added to the gel that was the hydrogel as soon as salt was added the gel got converted into a salt which we